Jonathan from teamsportcoaching.com. I received a good link this week about a study related to video training and how it can improve umpires' decision making. And in this case, it was related to Australian rules football. And here's the article here. And basically, the umpires went through a 12 week course where they looked at video footage of certain scenarios that occur in the game where they have to pay free kicks or make decisions about um, other judgments. And the research basically showed that it had the ability to improve their decision making capacity as umpires and it also suggested that uh, a similar thing if applied to players could have similar benefits as well in terms of um, improving players decision making. So I enjoyed reading this and it uh, touches closely on what I'm uh, really passionate about which is how can we keep improving players uh, through off-field uh, methods of teaching and learning. So we know that there's only so much they can physically do or as coaches we only have so much access to players during the week but but can we utilise other times off the field to keep improving our players and technology is a big part of that and, and this is a good example of how video can do this. So I want to just talk about a couple of ways um, that you can use video along these lines. The first way is to film uh, footage from a player's perspective, so actually getting a ground level and filming um, video clips that basically show what a player would be seeing during a game. So here's an example of what that could look like. So here's a clip here where um, this is a still image but this is, was actually a video clip where the player here in the orange bib's got the ball and we're basically seeing exactly what he's seeing. So this video clip might run for two or three seconds and then go to black and, and a player watching this clip then has to decide what was the best option. Now we, the idea is you, you film a series of these clips that more might be on a certain theme. So in this case here it's a f entering into the forward area or the, the attacking area in Australian football. So we might film 20 of those clips and put them all together, get the player to watch them one after the other and, and make a decision on what he thinks the best option might be. So what this is doing is, is improving players' ability to recognise patterns and pick up cues in the environment because they're seeing the game as they would as if they're out on the field. The ideal is to be able to, to run these sessions by actually projecting this footage and these images in uh, life size against a wall and perhaps having a player with just a small soft ball actually executing what, what decision they make by kicking the ball into the wall or moving to certain spots um, to represent what decision they might make. And, that, and this is called cognitive perceptual video training, okay? So that's one way um, of using video to improve your decision making capacity. The other way and this is probably more what this study was based around, is not using video footage from a first-person perspective, but just general game footage to increase players' uh, tactical awareness and understanding of how the game works. Just by watching the game more, um, they, can, they can get a better feel for the un and understand the dynamics of the game. So another article here that talked about that was this one here, Watching Soccer to Elevate Game Awareness. And if we scroll down, the key point here, I think, um, is, is in this paragraph here where he talks about watching the game, players can start processing and internalising the subtleties of the game, such as how to break an offside trap, etc, etc. Um, and they can really build their game awareness by learning how to play in different scenarios. So this is just by watching standard TV footage of games and doing more of it. And the, the, the whole theme of the article was, do American soccer players watch enough um, soccer to elevate their game awareness. So as a option for how you might implement this, here's our um, PlayerTube software application that uh, is available through teamsportcoaching.com. So what I've done is just load up a soccer clip here. So this is just standard broadcast TV footage. And in this software application, we're actually able to put in comments or prompts for players. So down here, I, as a coach, I put in what should red team do immediately when they win the ball back from this play. So we're able to click on that comment and we'll be taken to that passage of play momentarily. Here it comes. So here's the passage of play. So red team have won it and 
uh, as we can see, they play it out and they switch the play, which might be the correct option. So then, as a player, I can come in and put a comment there that um, they should switch the play as they have done and save that in. And then that comment's going to be saved, saved in. I've logged in still as a coach, but I'd be logged in as a player. So that's the way they're uh, perhaps increasing players' game understanding by just uh, putting together these scenarios from just broadcast TV footage and asking, using a questioning or prompting approach to get players to be tactically thinking and understanding about the dynamics of the game. What's the best decision to make next? Why? Why is it that perhaps here we should switch the play? Well, it's because there's going to be space on the outer side. So, um, so there's your two examples. Basically, you've got cognitive perceptual video training where you're actually getting video footage from um, ground level on the field from what an actual player would be seeing so that they learn to recognise patterns and cues. And then you've got the use of just this general broadcast TV footage just to generally increase players' game understanding, tactical awareness, understanding the dynamics of the game.